This video is designed to serve as a supplement and overview to your operations and maintenance manuals. This video will show you the procedure for filling your truck, filling a customer's tank, and the key maintenance points, as well as some troubleshooting. This video shows specific operations performed on the liquid control meter and the LCR2 register. Take note that operations may vary across models. Before we begin, let's review these few key points that will aid in the safety, efficiency, and productivity of your tank. Before operating your new vehicle, familiarize yourself with the locations and use of all the elements of your tank. Some of the most important elements and procedures of the propane line include to operate both sets of work lights, turn on parking lights in cab, then engage switch labeled work lights in the meter box to turn on. The liquid bypass valve must stay open and on at all times. The operator must keep remote on your person at all times. Remember to place a ticket paper in the printer before operation, otherwise no receipt will be able to print. The operator's remote is the primary shutoff and primary PTO switch. The secondary PTO switch is located inside the meter box. A secondary emergency shutoff switch is located on the driver's side of the vehicle. Also, a fire extinguisher is typically located on the driver's side panel for quick and open access. Lastly, coupled with this training video, remember to review your operations manuals for any minor procedures and helpful notes to operate your tank more safely and efficiently. After positioning your vehicle, place truck in neutral and engage parking brake. Remembering your remote, drop chocks and secure the vehicle. If work lights are needed, also turn on the parking lights and engage the work light switch in both the cab and the meter compartment. To fill your truck and prepare for delivery, first walk to the rear of the truck and remove the valve cover caps from the vapor line and the liquid fill line. Once open, the brake interlock will engage, making sure your vehicle cannot move for an added safety precaution. This cannot be disengaged until the caps are replaced securely. The next step is to attach your fill hoses to the vapor and liquid fill lines. Open your 80% bleed valve so that gas flow can be audibly heard. Once the hoses are secure and the bleed valve is open, open your ball valve to open to begin filling. The max capacity for propane tanks is 80% of the tank's total capacity. When your opened 80% bleed valve begins to spit liquid, you know your tank is full. Stop the flow of propane into the tank and close the 80% bleed valve. Turn the main ball valve handles to the closed position. Open your yellow handle drain valve to release any remaining propane and pressure between your hose and the tank itself. Leave open until all pressure is released, 2-3 to three seconds, and close the drain. Warning! Do not forget to open your drain valve before disconnecting hoses. Injury may occur. Now you can disconnect your hoses and replace secure your fill line caps. Double check all valves, caps, hoses, and connections are in proper positions before starting vehicle after filling. Now you are set to go to your job site. First, position truck, put in neutral, and engage the parking brake. If work lights are needed, also engage the parking lights. Remembering your remote, drop chocks and secure the vehicle. Insert ticket, receipt paper, into the printer before any operation begins. Check all valves and switches to ensure they are in the proper positions to begin the exchanging process. Refer to your user manual for the complete list and descriptions. At the rear of the vehicle, open your meter compartment. Locate and turn on your belly valve switch to the Open position. Turn the selection dial on the meter to the Run position. Unlock the hose line arm near the reel, then drag and secure the hose to the filling location. Using the operator's remote, turn on the PTO switch which will start the flow of propane from the tank through the hose. 
Use the nozzle control on the hose to turn the flow of liquid on and off. Once desired amount of propane is delivered, cut your nozzle control off, then turn off your PTO using the remote control. In the meter compartment, turn the selector dial on the meter to the print position, which sends a command to the printer in the cab of the vehicle to print a receipt for the completed job. Using the hose reel rewind button, reel your hose back in and relock by engaging the pin on the swing arm. After receipt has finished printing, secure all cabinets and compartments. Lastly, remember to double check all valves, switches, locks and compartments are secure before leaving job site. Regularly grease your PTO. We suggest once per week or sooner. Clean or replace your meter screen by unbolting the four bolts on the meter and removing the screen. This should be done every three months or if the pumping speed slows. Grease and lubricate the hose reel and chain every three weeks or as needed. Check tank tie downs at a minimum of once per month to be sure they are tightened securely to the safe level of 170 foot-pounds of torque. If there is an audible leaking sound or smell coming from an area near the tank, use the soap solution located in the meter compartment to check for potential spots for leaks. Be sure all fluid levels are maintained and filled as needed. If the brake interlock is engaged, remember to properly secure your fill valve covers. If the belly valve does not open, replace the black propane filter under the tank body on the pump system. Ensure your fire extinguisher is certified yearly. Replace hose line every five to seven years or if any detrimental wear occurs. If the remote control will not work, simply replace the batteries and try again. If no flow of propane will come through the meter, ensure the main valve, which feeds into the meter, is in the open position. If you have any other troubles or questions not solved by these remedies, remember to consult your user manuals. If a real problem persists, contact Amthor International to set up a repair. Amthor International thanks you for your purchase of such a fine tank. We hope you enjoy the state-of-the-art design and engineering that we take pride putting into each and every tank.